join us and discover beautiful beaches, rugged landscapes, pretty towns, desolate mountain ranges that sweep down to stunning lakes, unique architecture, history and folklore, no shamrocks, no shillelaghs and definitely no shenanigans, just naked Ireland. We're on Lower Newton Ards Road in East Belfast, a staunch Protestant loyalist part of the city. And here you can find some of the most arresting political murals in the city. Next to a monument commemorating five members of the UDA killed in the Troubles, we see a mural reflecting six districts making up the East Belfast Brigade of the UDA. Here we see reference to the Red Hand of Ulster, an ancient Irish symbol of the province of Ulster, of which six of the nine counties are now part of the partitioned Northern Ireland. Next to this is a mural celebrating Ulster's defenders from the Loyalist perspective. This mural celebrates Northern Ireland as part of the UK's four constituent parts alongside England, Scotland and Wales. The UDA, seen here, is the Ulster Defence Association a loyalist paramilitary group formed in 1971. The UDA used the cover name of the UFF, Ulster Freedom Fighters, to carry out its attacks during the Troubles. So that while the UFF has been prescribed as an organisation since 1973, the UDA was not outlawed by the British government until almost 20 years later, in 1992. We see the Harlan and Wolf shipyard crane in the background of this mural. The shipyard was an important employer in this area for many years until its more recent demise. Here we have two murals, one dedicated to the UVF, the Ulster Volunteer Force formed in 1966, and a second to the Ulster Volunteers established in 1912 in opposition to Home Rule. The second mural celebrates their contribution as enlistees to World War I. This contribution to the British war effort features prominently in the Loyalist murals of Belfast. These next murals commemorate victims of Republican atrocities during the Troubles and stand as a witness to the spiral of violence that Northern Ireland was drawn into during the dark years of the Troubles. Elsewhere, images of the Loyalist gunmen have long been staples of the gable walls of East Belfast, as we see here. The Young Citizens Volunteers are the youth wing of the UVF. The original organisation dated back to the original Ulster Volunteers in 1912, but the present organisation has its origin in Belfast Shankill Road when rioting youths were organised into the YCV. A re-imaging of some of the gable walls in East Belfast has been happening recently, resulting in these less militant and more positive murals. And some murals here commemorate the area's past maritime links. This mural, depicting presumably a Protestant boy in blue, shaking hands with a Catholic girl in green, alludes to conflict being confined to the past.
And the spirit of positivity continues here. Similarly, this almost Soviet-inspired work proclaims a more aspirational future. At the moment, the murals celebrating the violent past sit alongside the more positive images. There are even a few more improvised and topical warnings. dark humour perhaps, alongside some serious statements. If this film has been informative or useful, please subscribe and give it a like. Watch some of our other videos, many of which are much less controversial or contentious than this one. We end this film with a beautiful image entitled Linenopolis by a pair of artists known as Nomad Clan. The image is of a flax gatherer and reaffirms Belfast's past connection with the linen industry. <laughs>